What did you make of it in the end? We, we closed in positive territory, maybe not such a bad effort. Tim, it's a pretty slow start to the week, but altogether we finish in the black and that's a positive, up by 0.3%. And even more impressive given the negative leads that we saw from the US markets on Friday, as well as commodity prices over the weekend. Of course, the big plus was for us was that China's uh, reduced its reserve requirement ratio for banks by 50 basis points. Initially, we did see the Shanghai Composite on negative ground. That saw the Australian market dip into the red during the day but by the end of the session back in the black we have a look at the areas that did well it was some of the higher yielding areas like the telecom sector property and the consumer discretionary sector also doing well and the financials were outperformers on the market despite westpac going ex-dividend we saw stocks like qbe insurance up by 1.7 percent commonwealth bank was up by 1.9 percent and macquarie group managed a rise of 1.6 percent so that financial sector doing extremely well so it does look like investment is still really concentrating on yield in this type of environment where there is still concern around Europe. We have a look at the small cap space, so another negative session down by 0.4%. So all up, it does look like investors, trading, traders getting rid of risk today and really focusing in on high yielding. In terms of equities, particularly here at home, I mean, is the, the risk to the downside? Do you see the potential for, for further pain on the markets? I think one of the things that we've seen in the Australian market over the last couple of years is really a lack of international support because of the high Australian dollar. So while the Australian market has underperformed its uh, overseas peers, in fact the fall last week much bigger than that, that we saw in the US, I guess the weaker Australian dollar does provide some opportunity for international investors. So it would be good to see some more volume coming into the market like we did uh, later last week where we did see volumes of around the five billion, five and a half billion dollar mark. In comparison to Today we saw about $4 billion worth of stock being traded, so hopefully we will see some more international buying coming in. And I think um, that will help the Australian market, but all up, I guess if we have a look at earnings, we're still seeing some significant downgrades to this financial year's earnings coming through. And now analysts predicting that perhaps we could see a contraction in earnings rather than growth. And FY13 earnings still looking uh, a little bit too optimistic with 12% growth factored in on the market. So I guess Aussie earnings, we are looking for a bit of a catalyst but of course with uh, the budget being a little bit contractionary it is a difficult environment up on earnings growth here domestically. For Julie the, the Aussie dollar we saw dip below I mean people have been just watching this Australian dollar waiting for it to to break that parity level with the the greenback it certainly did but it's it's come back above parity is a, an upside for that that we could start to see as you made mention of uh, the, the absence of foreign investors start to come back into the market could that could a low Aussie dollar start to maybe be a little bit of a catalyst for a push upward of equities? James, there's a bit of a double-edged sword, the Aussie dollar, a reflection of risk-taking in the market and the amount of risk that investors really want to take with the Aussie dollar seen as a risk currency. And on the flip side, that lower Aussie dollar making it easier for those companies making their earnings offshore. So mm -hmm. companies like QBE, uh, Brambles, CSL doing well today on the back of that lower Aussie dollar. And it was pretty amazing watching the Aussie dollar intraday today. We knew that uh, the test would be parity this week. And if we have a look at the Aussie dollar during the Asian session, against the US currency this is what it looks like actually at the one 100.08 level we hit it uh, eight times before actually breaking that level to break parity and we actually broke parity today before jumping back up on the back of the Shanghai composite turning positive after initially turning um, initially starting off the day negative but all up the worries over Greece dominating the Aussie dollar and also investor sentiment at the moment could things get worse it really depends on whether the Greece does exit the euro or not or um, whether there is another uh, solution to be found. If a solution is to be found, then it's probably going to be risk on. Again, good news for the Aussie dollar, good news for equities. But as long as that uncertainty over Greece remains, I think investors and traders will remain cautious. And, I mean